Hey, it's Avi from JustRightMusic.com. Welcome to another What Up video thing. Cool beans. We're here again. Hi. Uh, today, I want to help you add some excitement into your songs to help you keep your listeners engaged. How are we going to do that? We're going to start messing with beats and time and shit. That's how. Before we get into it, if you're new, hit the subscribe button and the bell thing below for more videos to like, help you write music. Just write music. Just do that. Just keep, just keep doing that. Okay, so the meter, or the time signature, dictates a lot about how we feel the music. By strategically changing the time signature, we can achieve some really cool stuff. In this video, we're going to look at an old demo of mine called The Hope That Festers, right over here. And I mess with the time signature quite a bit to various effects. This was a collaboration, I don't know why I said it that way, with The Poetical Alchemist, another collab. He's my buddy. I love him. Show him some love over on Instagram, please. Okay, let's go. First thing we're going to look at is how to add a beat. Just like it sounds, we are just adding one beat to our time signature. Now, remember the time signature, there's two numbers. The top number, the first number, tells us what number to count to, and the bottom number tells us what kind of note gets the beat. In this case, the four represents a quarter note. So if we are in 4-4 four, four, in core common time, like we is, we would make the top number a five, and we would keep the bottom number the same. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, becomes one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Notice how the pulse or the strong beats change as we add a beat. Cool beans. This extra beat makes us feel like we're falling into the next bar. This is because we're like prolonging the downbeat of the next measure. It, it plays with our expectations of the timing, that's it. It's dope, that's what this is all about. So you can throw this right in the middle of a section, just like that. Literally, watch me do. It's right It's right here. Boom, you see, right up here in Logic, this is where the time signature is. You can add them and change them all up over here where it says signature. And right here, you can see we're in 4-4, four, four, but there's a little bit of 5-4 just right up on there. Let's see what's going on there. We are the pathways burned and salted. We are directions curled and rotten We are the street lights in the fog The creeps who see it all Wasn't that cool? Let's hear that one more time. We are the pathways Pay attention to the beats up here. We are directions curled and rotten We are the Notice we are just kind of falling into it. Ricka digga 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 ba. That's literally when you go to music school, that's how you get taught. All right, so that's what it sounds like when we add a beat. Next, we are going to look at removing a beat. So now we're moving in the opposite direction. We're removing a beat from the time signature. So to use our example of 4 4, which, you know, is what we're in right now, predominantly, we're going to go to 3 4. So instead of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Now notice how we totally lost a strong beat. Now there's, there's only one, literally. One less beat means the downbeat of the next measure happens sooner. Like before, we're messing with the listener's sense of timing and pulse, yo. By getting that downbeat a bit sooner, it feels like it's hitting us harder since it was unexpected. It stands out. You can also play with the listener's expectations by arpeggiating the like button below for the YouTube algorithm. Yup, it works. Also, just keep watching to the end, that works more. I really like using this right before the last chorus because it makes it hit a little harder like we were talking about, and that's exactly what we want the last chorus to do. Check it out. We are the instinct clawing out Rapid voices full of doubt Did you, did you hear that? Did you hear how cool that sounded? Good damn. Let's listen to that one more time. We are the instinct clawing out. Rapid voices full of doubt. Don't ignore what they have said. Those whispers shouting in your head. We are the... We just slid right into that chorus. It hits us over the head. Pretty cool, right? I like it. So that's removing a beat. Neat. 
swell stuff going on here in the Just Right Music zone. No, I hate that. No, moving on. Let's really dive into the deep end. We're gonna talk about multiple meter changes. For this one, we're going all out. We're changing the time signature for each bar of music. Like, bah, what? If we were in 4-4, four, four, now we can go something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so we're like really messing with the pulse. We're in three different time signatures, each one at one measure long, and, that, and we have we created a little bit of a pattern out of it too. Look at what's going on here: eight eight nine eight 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 nineteen sixteen eight eight nine eight 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 nineteen sixteen. Then eight. Well, we're really just going back into four at that point. This is a great palette cleanser because we introduce a little bit of chaos before going back to a consistent meter. We're throwing everyone's timing off by a lot and just going crazy. When we finally get back to a regular meter, the groove feels, well, groovy. We get to give back the sense of groove we took from the listener, but it doesn't have to be the same groove as before, even though in this case it is. I said groove a lot. In this song, I used it for the solo because it helped me avoid a classic solo pitfall. And it, what that is, you know, just use one of the other riffs in the song underneath the solo. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to kind of make the solo stand out on its own a little bit more. So by using this, we are forcing ourselves to be a little bit more creative, which is a good thing. This achieves that palate cleanser effect while also making the song just more interesting. Let's let's hear how this sounds from the pre-chorus. And go. Don't ignore what they have said. Those whispers shouting. Wasn't that a little bit nuts? Let's listen to just the solo again one more time. Count along here if you can. It's it's kind of it's super fun. Do the best you can. It's it's great. Notice how we really just kind of went out of nowhere, and when we get back the groove, when we get back to 4-4 right here, that groove feels good. We feel like we arrived somewhere, even though we were just in 4-4 not too long ago. So that's pretty dope, right? Boom! We did it, guys! I don't know why I said boom. Nothing, nothing happened. So there you go. That's how we can use time signatures and meter changes to make your songs a little less boring. We can add beats, remove beats, or just go crazy, take away everyone's sense of timing. Take them for a ride. All right, it is that time of the video where I tell you to go do a thing. We're, we're really making our songs stand out by messing with time, but it's super important to make sure your melodies are up to snuff. I put together a free guide that gives you seven ways to write a more effective melody. That's that's the title of it. It's not the best title, but it's, it's you know, it's, it's descriptive. You know what you're getting. It's got tips for writing melodies, effective melodies, seven of them yeah head to justrightmusic.com go go grab your free copy it's free i don't know if i mentioned that but also be sure to come back here to youtubes and you know let me know which tip was your favorite because i do want to know it's important to me i want to hear back from y'all you all i can't say y'all i can't pull that off all right do you ever mess with time signatures in your songs or is this totally new to you let me know down in the comments i just had a comment call to action guys i'm all i'm all over the place in this bit all over the place ah oh, jesus christ
podcast. All right. Well, th- thank you for watching. I can't believe you're here. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me while I'm being stupid and weird. Uh, I'm Avi from JustRightMusic.com, and don't forget to be awesome.